Once upon a time there was a cat. His name was Friday. And he belonged to a boy named Joe. Joe named his cat Friday because on Fridays his cat seemed to have strange. Magical powers. But I guess I'd better back up and tell you how Friday came to be Joe's pet. Well, it all began on a Saturday morning. Joe didn't have anything in particular to do. So he decided to go for a walk along the river. After walking some time he sat down on the river bank and started throwing rocks in the water. He had been sitting there for about 30 minutes when he saw a log floating down the river with a cat on it. The cat was meowing very loudly. And Joe knew he would have to do something very quickly. He grabbed a branch and snagged the log as it was going by and pulled it to shore. The cat was so grateful that he followed Joe around for the rest of the day. Joe didn't know what his parents would say if he brought home a stray cat. But he was going to try talking them into keeping him. As it turned out, it wasn't such a hard job to convince his parents to let him keep the cat after all. Because his mother had seen a mouse in the house. Just the day before. Joe didn't know what to call his cat. He wasn't in any hurry about naming him and that he would think about it for a while. He thought about it Sunday. And he thought about it on Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. And Thursday. And still he hadn't came up with a name. On Friday Joe's cat seemed to be different somehow. Joe couldn't decide on how he was different. He only knew he was different. Joe got ready for school as usual and went out to wait for the school bus. But it didn't come at the scheduled time. Finally, Joe decided to walk to school. And on his way his cat tried to lead him down a different road. He knew if he followed his cat it would make him late for school. But his cat kept howling as if his very life was in danger. Joe thought he'd better investigate. So he followed his cat down the road. He hadn't gone very far when he saw something big a yellow lying in a deep ditch. He could hear children crying and yelling for help. Joe didn't know what to do. But he knew he would have to do something pretty quick. Suddenly, right before his eyes, 
His cat turned into a giant cat and pulled the bus out of the deep ditch. And as soon as he got the bus out, he changed back into an ordinary cat again. No one on the bus was hurt. The driver had been knocked out when the bus went into the ditch. And when he came to again, he couldn't understand what happened and how the bus was back on the road. Joe was very surprised and he knew no one would believe him if he told that story. So he kept it to himself. Joe decided to name his cat Friday. Because that was the day he discovered his cat had magical powers. Joe left and went to school. As soon as he found out that no one was hurt. He didn't try to explain how the bus was pulled from the ditch or the part his cat played in the rescue. He knew that would be his and Friday's secret. After some time, Joe wondered why Friday didn't save himself from the river. Then he realized that his cat could only do magical things on Friday. It sure was going to be nice having a magic cat. Joe thought maybe he could do homework too. That would be nice. Written by Todd Carter. Illustrations by Sosha Carter. And the background music was performed by Jesse Gallagher, which was not credited in the book due to post publishing.